Okay, so we're going to have a quick story time. I'm going to tell you a story of me in high school making a dumb mistake. <laughs> and, you know, sort of somewhat coming out to my mom. Okay, so this is how the story went. high school and this was back when Facebook was really popping so you looking at like 2007 and I was being a little fast on Facebook and I remember I was talking to this dude and I remember it was like I was in a uh, after school activity like business group or whatever and we were having state competitions this day so I was leaving the house, going to the school to get on the bus to go to this competition. Well, I'm gathering all my stuff, walking out the door. You know, my dad's taking me to the school. And, you know, I'm rushing out the door so fast that Jamal forgets to uh, close his computer. Mind you, the conversation with me and this boy was the last thing on my screen. So, it was just up for display for any and everybody to read. Now, <clears throat> mind you, me and my dad talking, we're on the freeway. We're about halfway to the school, maybe 10 minutes away. Mind you, the school was maybe 20, 30 minutes away. So, I'm just happily, you know, la, 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 talking, jeep, dap, boop, running my mouth to my dad. And all of a sudden, I remember in that instant that I left my computer open. I was like, and I wanted to shit myself. Now at this point, I'm trying to figure out a reason or any type of excuse I could think of to go back home, to go back and fix this computer and turn my computer off. But mind you, we were already late. Uh, the Mind you, we did not live anywhere near the school. We're only about maybe 10 minutes away. We live about 30 minutes away. And my dad was not about to take me back to the house for no reason that I could come up with in the few seconds. So for the rest of them 10 minutes, and honestly, for the the whole duration, because I was going to be gone for a weekend. I was going to be gone for a whole weekend, bitch. I, I, I didn't know what to do. I was like, I just want, I just, I was silent. I just remember I was running my mouth and all of a sudden I was silent and we got to the school and the whole time that they was there i was there i was just waiting waiting for my mom to send me a freaking message bitch so now i'm on the bus we on the way to i want to say we was going to like grand rapids or something i i don't remember and the whole day goes by it's nighttime like the rest of me and my friends they playing video games i'm trying to have fun and get and you know get into the mood and I just noticed that my mom has not contacted me this whole time. It, it's nighttime. She hasn't said nothing to me. It's the next day. She ain't said nothing to me. And I'm just like, okay, I'm getting a little faint. I'm getting a little hopeful now. I'm like, just maybe, just maybe I remember to close my laptop. Just maybe. So then let's get to... <laughs> The day that I actually come home. So, my mom picks me up. And it's a silent ride home. And then I get home and realize my computer. I get home and I realize that my computer has been closed. Like, everything in my room is neat. Usually my mom comes and you know, cleans up my room whenever I'm gone. So, I'm thinking, okay. Just maybe... I actually closed the laptop and I started getting all nice and relaxed, just like, whoo! Because when I tell you, I was sweating bullets that whole weekend. Bullets! Because, <laughs> boy, I was like, oh, man, I mean, I wish I could really remember what the conversation was. All I know is it was not for parentals to see. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all remember the little, the slightly fast days you was doing in high school? But, uh, my mom approached me a couple of days later and was like, so, I read your Facebook messages. 
what I tell y'all? That my stomach fell through my ass. <laughs> Baby, I, I don't even think I remember how to speak English at that moment. She was just like, you know, I read what you said. You would have a conversation with a boy we will not name. And she just told me all the things that I said. And while she's just listing up all this stuff, I'm just like, Lord, you are free to take me now. You can just rapture me on up, Jesus, on to the heavens. I was ready to go. I just was like, I, I, I want to check out. I was so embarrassed. <laughs> oh, I was so embarrassed, Lord Jesus. Oh, this thing is meant. Come on, filter. There we go. So, <laughs> I had to give her the whole... I had to give her the whole, oh, you know, I'm bisexual talk. You know, those of, the, those of us that have come out before, uh, many of us have used the, oh, I'm bisexual as a transition. You know, I mean, of course, you know, my mom knows everything now. You know, it's no secret now. Plus, I'm too old to be hiding it now. But... At the time, I tried to give her the whole, you know, oh, I'm bisexual to kind of ease into it. <laughs> but, you know, she had questions, naturally. At that time, I didn't really have all the answers. <laughs> like, if I could just go back and just go through that moment again, <laughs> I would be so much better prepared. But <laughs> I just thought that, you know, that would be an interesting little fun, embarrassing story that I had. Lord Jesus, to keep me closer to the cross of my salvation. Y'all have a good night.